Hi children. <coughs> Today, online class, mass day one and sixth and seventh classes. Now going to discuss about the number system. So <coughs> first, uh, let us discuss what is meant by digits and what is meant by numbers. What is meant by digits first? Discuss about the digits. Digits. What is meant by digits? The no, <coughs> the ten numerals. Ten numerals like uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are the digits that are used that are used writing with numbers. Writing with the numbers. So, <clears throat> two or more digits we can use to form a numbers. So, uh, for example, example here <clears throat> 23. 23 you can use 2 and 3. Two digits we can use we have to form a number 23. Like this again. 125. Here also 1 is a 1, 2, 3. 3 digits. 1 is a 1 digit, 2 and 5. Or 3 digits we can use to form a number 125. So, so many types of numbers are there. First uh, we discuss <coughs> first two numbers. What is positive numbers? We know that 1 comma, 2 comma, 3 comma, 4 and so on are called are called positive numbers. Are called positive numbers. Next, next negative numbers. negative numbers <clears throat> so we know that minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and so on are called are called negative numbers are called negative numbers so <clears throat> The least, the least positive number is 1. The greatest positive number is not defined. Because here 1 is the starting with the 1. So the positive number is 1 is the least positive number. And the greatest positive number is not countable. It's not defined. So negative number. The greatest negative number is minus 1. And the least negative number is not defined. So, so many types of numbers is there. Now we discuss natural numbers. Natural numbers. First, what is meant by natural numbers? The set of all positive numbers are called natural numbers. The set of all positive numbers are called natural numbers. The set of all positive numbers are called natural numbers. Natural numbers. 
So the set of natural numbers are denoted by capital Lm. The set of natural numbers the set of natural numbers are denoted by by the letter n n is equal to set of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma and so on so the least natural number is 1 the greatest natural number is not defined so first of all, and once again, what is meant by natural numbers? The set of all positive numbers are called natural numbers. The set of natural numbers are denoted by the letter is n. n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Okay. Next, whole numbers. Second one is whole numbers. First, what is meant by the whole numbers? The set of natural numbers including with 0 are called whole numbers. The set of natural numbers including with 0 are called whole numbers. The set of whole numbers are denoted by the letter is W. So, <coughs> the set of natural numbers the set of Natural numbers with the zero are called whole numbers. The set of whole numbers. The set of whole numbers are denoted by letter by the letter is W. W is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So here <coughs> the least natural number is 1. Here the least whole number is 0. So what is the whole numbers? The set of natural numbers with 0 are called whole numbers. The set of whole numbers are denoted by the letter is W. W is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on like this. Okay. Now we discuss what is meant by integers. So, next to discuss the number 3 in teasers. What is meant by in teasers? The set of positive numbers and the negative numbers including with 0 are called in teasers. The set of in teasers are denoted by the letter is I or Z. So, <coughs> the set of the set of positive numbers positive numbers negative numbers with zero are called are called integers. So, another definition is there. The set of whole numbers, the set of whole numbers and the negative numbers are called integers. Are called integers. <coughs> the set of the set of whole numbers The set of whole numbers and the negative numbers are 
and the negative numbers are called are called integers so the set of integers are denoted by letter e i r z the set of the set of integers are denoted by by the let by the letter is i r z z is equal to answer minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and so on like this so here <coughs> the least positive integer is 1 The greatest negative integer is minus one. So <clears throat> once again, the set of whole numbers and the negative numbers are called integers. The set of integers are denoted by the letter is i or z. Z is equal to and so on minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, and so on like this. Next, we can discuss. <coughs> rational numbers what is meant by rational numbers next rational numbers what is meant by rational numbers the numbers which is in the form of p by q are called rational numbers where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 the set of rational numbers are denoted the letter is q so <clears throat> the numbers which is in the form of p by q where p comma q belongs to z and q is not equal to 0 are called rational numbers rational numbers. the set of rational numbers the set of rational numbers are denoted by denoted by q <coughs> capital q q is equal to p by q p comma q belongs to z and q is not equal to 0 so here the numbers which is in the form of p by q where p and q are q are integers and q is not equal to 0 are called rational numbers one more example for example 2 by 3 Five by seven. Here seven, three, two. Like these are rational numbers, sir. Here uh, only seven. So only denominator is not there. So divided by one, divided by one, divided by one. So here also d d is in the form of p by q. These numbers also rational numbers. Next uh, we can discuss uh, irrational numbers. irrational numbers
So what is meant by irrational numbers? The numbers which is not in the form of p by q are called irrational numbers. Which is in the form of p by q are called rational numbers. Which is not in the form of p by q are called irrational numbers. The numbers the numbers which is not in the form of p by q are called irrational numbers irrational numbers <coughs> the set of irrational numbers are denoted by the letter is yes the set of the set of irrational numbers the set of irrational numbers are denoted by yes or q dash or q dash so <coughs> yes or q dash thus for example example root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 like this these are irrational numbers one more example 1.12 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 1 2 3 4 like this these numbers also irrational numbers so the numbers which is in the form of p by q is called rational numbers the numbers which is not in the form of p by q are called irrational numbers next we are going to discuss about the real numbers real numbers <clears throat> what is meant by real numbers the union of rational and irrational numbers or the collection of rational and irrational numbers are called real numbers the union of the collection of rational and irrational numbers are called real numbers the union of the union of rational and irrational are called real numbers real numbers the combination of rational and irrational numbers combination that means addition or combination means addition the union of rational and irrational numbers are called the real numbers the set of real numbers the set of real numbers are denoted by letter is R. So, R is equal to Q union S. Union symbol. This union means addition. The combination. The combination of rational and irrational numbers are called real numbers. For example, example, 2 plus root 3. 5 plus root 7. 2 is a rational and root 3 is a irrational. The combination of rational and irrational numbers are called real numbers. So, <clears throat> most important, the combination of rational and irrational numbers are called real numbers. Here 2 is a rational root 3 is an irrational here root 5 is a rational root 7 is an irrational uh, these two are examples of real numbers so some more numbers are there 
<coughs> now discuss even numbers odd numbers like this so <coughs> first even numbers what is meant by even numbers the numbers which is exactly divisible by 2 are called even numbers the numbers which is divisible by exactly 2 is called even numbers the numbers exactly divisible by Two are called even numbers. Even numbers. <coughs> example. Example. Two, four, six, eight, zero, minus four, minus eight, minus twenty, and so on, etc. Like this are even numbers. 2 is divisible by 2, 4 is divisible by 2, 6 is divisible by 2, 8 is divisible by 2. So, remainder 0 is divisible by 2. So, <coughs> minus 4 is divisible by 2, minus 8 is divisible by 2, minus 20 also divisible by 2. These are examples of even numbers. Next, what is meant by odd numbers? What is in the way? Odd numbers. <coughs> First, the numbers which is not exactly divisible by exactly divisible by 2 are called odd numbers. So, example 3, 5, 7, 9, minus 11 minus 13 f and so on etc so the numbers which is not exactly divisible by 2 are called odd numbers here 3 is not divisible by 2 5 is not divisible by 2 7 is not divisible by 2 9 is not divisible by 2 minus 11 is not divisible by 2 minus 13 is not divisible by 2 so these are examples of odd numbers so next <coughs> division algorithm division algorithm dividend is equal to Divisor into quotient plus reminder. Reminder. Reminder always less than divisor. Less than divisor. For example, 23 divided by 2. 23 divided by 2. For example, 23. So, here, 2, 1, 0, 2. Next to 3, again 2, 1, 0, 2, 1 reminder. This is the reminder. So, reminder is always less than the divisor. So, next, some more numbers are... <coughs> Some more numbers. 
some more type of numbers is there first one is prime number second one is composite number next third one is <coughs> four primes third fourth one is twin primes fourth one fifth one is prime triplet prime triplet these are some more type of numbers let us discuss first what is meant by prime numbers here <clears throat> what is meant by prime numbers first one what is meant by prime numbers the numbers which is divisible by one and itself is called a prime numbers the numbers which is divisible by one and itself is called a prime number another example another definition the numbers having only two factors is called a prime numbers the numbers having exactly two factors is called a prime number another definition the numbers which is divisible by one and itself is called a prime number the numbers which is divisible by one and itself only are called prime numbers prime numbers example example <coughs> here two Three, five, seven, and so on like this. <coughs> Here, what is meant by prime numbers? The numbers which is divisible by one and itself uh, are called uh, prime numbers. So two is two only. Here, for example, two is equal to one into two. Only two factors. One and two are the factors of two. Next to three is equal to three into one. So here also three and one are the factors of three. Next here five, five into one, only two factors of the number five. Next to seven, seven is equal to one into seven, only two factors. Here one and five, seven are the factors of seven. So here the numbers. Which is exactly divisible by one and itself are called prime numbers. Okay, children. Prime numbers uh, over. What is meant by prime numbers? The numbers exactly two factors is called a prime numbers. So, example one example is already explained. Two, three, five, seven like this are explained the prime examples of prime number. So, uh, we will continue tomorrow. The uh, next topics composite numbers, co primes and twin primes and prime triplet have to continue tomorrow. So, okay, thank you, children.